Hello, co-creators. I'm just gonna run through all zodiac signs, starting with Aries, for daily messages for from now until the end of next week. So let's get it, let's go. Make sure you look up your sun, moon, and rising as well. God's goddesses, angels, go light, the higher self, source, deceased loved ones, ancestors, God. Uh oh. Little thing fell down. give us a clear message for the prediction for Aries. Show us what Aries needs to see. All right, here we go. of wands, we've got the nine of cups, and we've got the six of swords. So Aries, what I'm seeing here is maybe within last week or a few days ago, there was some competition, conflict, maybe some fights. Uh, little challenges going on, um, maybe some disagreements in a work environment or school or family, um, some kind of collaboration with people in your life. Um, just a little bit of, you know, um, challenges going on. But you moved out of it and um, now you've been experiencing a lot of happiness and you know dreams coming true energy um, miracles happening maybe somebody was sick and got better or maybe you were sick and got better you know maybe from all this fighting that was going on aries maybe some satisfaction and wishes coming true happened following that um that tension that you were experiencing aries and now you've moved into you know, happier times, okay? And then you actually have the Six of Swords, which is showing you've moved on, you know, from completely from that, that competition or conflict energy after experiencing all the happiness and um, satisfaction and joy that had entered your life. You have totally gotten mentally stable. You've transitioned into more healing energy and calmer waters, basically, better times. You have moved on from whatever energy. Okay, and your final message, Page of Swords. So moving into like next week, we've got written messages. Okay, so it could be text messages coming in, emails coming in, um, maybe even a written letter communication, some ideas, you're going to be inspired to um, speak your truth, to be more direct, um, you're going to receive information. Let's see if we can get some more info for you. That's not your last message. Just kidding, Aries. Show us for Five of Wands confirming, please. And for nine of cups. And for six of swords. Okay. All right. OK, 
okay Aries so then I see next week you're moving into seven of wands um, there's gonna be you're gonna have some courage and some determination you're gonna be setting up some boundaries and um, you're gonna be sticking with your your truth your conviction because um, the seven of cups is showing here that you're going to move into like the beginning of next week. Um, you're going to be having a lot of choices. A lot of some opportunities are going to be coming to you. You may be procrastinating on making a decision, but I see you making that decision and staying grounded into the eight of coins here. You're going to have pride. You're going to be disciplined. And then you're going to receive some abundance and wealth from, from that energy um, moving into the end of next week. Okay, so that was your message, Aries. We are moving on. I hope you enjoyed your message. We are moving on to Taurus right now. We're moving on to Taurus. Show us what Taurus needs to see. Goodness, my nose. Let me see the timestamp. We've got 703. Says hi yourself and guys, please give us a clear message for Taurus. Ace of Swords, communication, clarity, breakthrough, truth, focus. New ideas are coming to you. Um, you're maybe more concentrated with your thinking. Um, some truth. You're you're getting a lot of clarity. Some breakthrough. Um, you did in like the last few days. Maybe related to your health. Maybe related to work maybe related to your overall uh, well-being, Taurus. And, and then you moved into uh, the tower energy, which is you got a flash of insight, maybe revelation. There was some release. There was uh, something was being torn down to be rebuilt. You had to end something and let something go. Um, maybe a thought or maybe uh, an action had to be changed um, so you could move forward and rebuild something new, either a relationship or a work project or maybe a new direction with your health, Taurus. Also, um, you have shown to be very strong. You're very patient. Um, your energy currently, you're very compassionate. You have courage. You are the strength card. You are determined right now. This is your present energy. Show us more, please, for Taurus. Show us some more messages for Taurus, please. Show us. Okay, Taurus. And we've got the Wheel of Destiny. That is, um, <laughs> that's a great energy. Um, there is a karmic cycle that has ended for you, Taurus and you have moved into this luck and fortune energy. So a lot of things, either in your health, your family life, your career, all of the above is changing for you right now. Let's see what else we can get for you for moving into next week. Show us what Taurus needs to, oh, that one wants to come out. This one wants to come out. Okay, 
today, Taurus. So I'm seeing some fast energy moving from that fortune and luck into more opportunities coming, some rapid movement, some speedy recovery, some, some more wealth, some more love in your life is coming to you. I see um, maybe some secrets that are coming to light, um, some illusions that are being cleared up because you've got the seven of coins. Maybe it was with your finances and those are cleared for you now, uh, Taurus. Um, you are being rewarded because of your hard work. Harvests are coming in and you've got forward movement with the chariot here moving into the end of next week. You are, there's nothing, the word is unstoppable. You are unstoppable, Taurus. That is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. And now we're moving on to Gemini. Calling Gemini's higher self and guides, please show us what Gemini needs to see. Gemini looking good okay so within the last like week or a couple days Gemini I see the king of cups for you I see emotional control I see you know your tolerance you're caring you're kind so you're very um, wise Gemini um, in the last week and very um, yeah emotional control <clears throat> excuse me Moving into the Eight of Coins, you had some hard work, some discipline, some pride. Um, this is moving into more current energy. And yes, you've been a visionary, you've been creative, you've been dynamic, you've been energetic, you've been optimistic with here with the Queen of Wands energy, very um, attention, um, you know, flamboyant, getting uh, attention from everywhere, just shining, um, fiery energy, creative energy. That is your present energy right now, Gemini. Um, and also you have some text messages that are gonna be coming in, moving in the next couple days. Maybe a written message, uh, an email, um, communicating some ideas and some information for you, some co uh, clear, direct in inspiration and some ideas. Um, it could be messages from your guides as well. Um, Knight of Swords is under the King of Cups. This is moving into next week. We've got fast moving energy. Um, uh, this it could be you or it could be somebody else coming in to give you a, um, um, direct communication um, or you trying to communicate yourself directly to somebody and you're just, you're on it, you're moving fast um, or somebody else is coming in fast. It could also be related to that message um, that you're gonna receive in the next couple days. Um, Gemini, Gemini, okay, page of wands, we've got outgoing, creative, again, that energy, that fiery energy, wands, um, free spirit, original, inventive, this is um, middle of next week, you're going to be also maybe studying something new, or maybe you should look into studying something new, um, it's a youthful energy, you're grounded, you're dil diligent, you're dependable, um, and then I see wishes coming true by the end of next week. You're having some kind of miracle happen, um, you know, ultimate uh, emotional satisfaction, maybe in love, um, finances. Um, it, it's just miracles happening, total joy, warmth, happiness, wishes, dreams coming true, total satisfaction. That is your reading, Gemini. Looks good for you for the next couple weeks. And 
now we are going to move into Answer at 1536. All right. Hello, Cancer. We're going to do a little two week reading for you right now. Show us for Cancer what they need to see. Show us for Cancer what they need. We've got the Knight of Cups here, Cancer. Um, a romantic, imaginative, sensitive, lover, knight, proposal, offer, seductive. Uh, we've got, so somebody's coming in with the message of love and romance. It's Knight of Cups, um, the, but they they're kind of insecure about their proposal or their offer. They're a um, very sensitive person. They're a lover, but they are not sincere. They're not um, confident. They're not feeling very confident about what your response is going to be. Um, it's coming in pretty fast. It's an unstoppable uh, um, uh, offer of love. It's, it's coming in pretty fast. It's also following the King of Cups. This is present energy. We've got um, a very tolerant, gentle, emotional control energy, a very warm kind, um, masculine energy. It shows a youthful, so maybe two men are coming in for you, Cancer, or you know, take it how it resonates. If this is a man watching, then two women are coming in. Um, um, a younger and an older um, energy of your opposite sex or the same sex, you know, I don't know your life. <laughs> Five of Swords is showing a little bit of conflict, maybe feeling, um, you know, a little defeated. Let's get some more energy here for you. Moving into next week, um, we've got, okay, so an inner calling, transformation, um, Okay, so under the Knight of Cups, we're showing there's going to be an awakening, a rebirth, a judgment, an inner calling, some change going on, um, getting to what is most important related to this energy of this, this Knight of Cups that's offering somebody that's offering you love. Um, there's going to be an awakening in that relationship. We've also got the Queen of Swords. So the Chariot is fast moving, unstoppable energy, ambitious, but under that is the independence. Somebody's cutting to the truth of the matter. This is moving into the beginning of next week energy. Um, there's going to be some truth coming out because the Queen is somebody that is kind of got, a, a, you know, ice around like a, a protection around her heart and so that could be you or that could be somebody else's energy um, it's also a divorced person um, and it's next to the lovers so the middle of next week there is going to be some choices that need to be made and you are going to get some clarity and have some truth and some uh, major focus and concentration. You're going to get new ideas related to love and what direction to take. You are going to have by the end of next week some more clarity about um, your love affairs, Cancer. You're going to decide um, between two lovers. That is the message I got for you. Let me get the timestamp 2015. 
for Leo. Moving on to Leo. That was your message, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now. All right, Leos. Show us what Leo needs to see. Show us oh, what Leo needs to see. Looking good. Okay, so Leo, we've got the King of Cups here. Somebody um, very with emotional control, very gentle. This is like a couple days ago or last week's energy. Um, a very caring, tolerant, masculine energy. Very kind and wise person. A king energy. Take it how it resonates if you're a male or female. It could be a queen energy. Okay, so eight of um, wands, somebody, um, this is your current energy. Maybe you're traveling right now. I see active energy, I see rapid movement, I see um, a lot of progress, and I see um, completion to a cycle. There's an end of a cycle. Maybe in love, maybe in health, maybe in your career, you are fulfilled with something and something new is going to be starting now because something else has ended recently. And um, this is very uh, a very good energy to be in because you know when something else ends, something else begins. And then we've got for you moving into next week, Leo, we've got a very uh, clear person, uh, another king of swords energy, very, um, analytical, very uh, good judge of character, an authority figure, um, somebody with reason and logic and a lot of power is coming in. And also the sun card, that is great. Moving into next week, we've got you are gonna be experiencing some happiness and some total joy, maybe getting in touch with your inner child. And having some success in that then we have the ace of cups there's a message of love something new a creation a potential love possibilities overwhelming emotions are coming into you by the middle of next week and then we have the hermit um, energy introspection you are going to maybe have to contemplate uh, contemplate and have some self-reflection about that message of love that is coming in or maybe uh, meditate on some action of a new um, uh, project that you would like to create or start, okay, um, to make a clear decision. And I see you doing that by the end of next week. I see it being very, um, uh, you're gonna get recognition for it or you're gonna be admiring something or someone. There's gonna be victory. You're gonna have a lot of pride for whatever it is that um, you will be starting new. Leo by next week, be it um, a new job or a new lover or just um, an overall new uh, wellness routine, you're going to be very successful at it. Leo, that is what I got for you. And I'm going to have to end here and separate the videos because I kind of go, got over my timing. I have to go pick up my son right now. I hope you enjoyed your guys' readings up until this point. And please come back and join me for any new content that I post. Like, share, and subscribe. And bye for now.